I'll tell you what, Nicole, feels pretty comfortable for anybody outside maybe trying to do an early morning exercise. That's right. A beautiful morning. And we've had several really nice mornings over the last couple of days. And this is the one time of day we can really enjoy it because the afternoons are going to start heating up again. It's going to feel a little more like summertime, especially by tomorrow. For now, it's in the 40s and low 50s in the mountains. We've got middle 50s around Greenville and Clemson. Hartwell also at 55 degrees, though it's a little bit more comfortable. We've got 51 to Abbeville, 50 down in Greenwood and 50 degrees also for Union. The sky is nice and clear. The wind is light to calm. And while there is some scattered rain down toward the coast near Charleston, uh, parts of Savannah and the Hilton Head area, the up upstate, the mountains, northeast Georgia, all dry and all clear today. So in the upstate, after a cool start, we're in for gorgeous weather with a light breeze. Highs reach 77 here. In western North Carolina, it's expected to get up to about 74 degrees. So it's going to look and feel good across the board. So no surprise that I am calling today a perfect 10 on your Carolina sky meter. And while the sunshine's going to stick around, the heat will build. So I think tomorrow we're going to be back to about a 9 on the sky meter. Still nice enough, but we're talking low 80s with sun tomorrow, low 80s again on Thursday with a few clouds and then the end of the week brings clouds and rain along with cooler temperatures and all the wet weather comes from the tropics. Hurricane Delta has formed. It formed yesterday and strengthened rapidly. It currently has 100 mile per hour winds. The storm's track has it pulling close to the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico as it strengthens to Category 3 and likely Category 4 before making a brief landfall there on that Yucatan Peninsula. As it enters back into the Gulf of Mexico, I do expect some variance Category 3 or category four is expected through late week. And then as it makes a turn to the north and aims for the Louisiana coastline, at this point, all signs point to it weakening back to a category two, but that means major rain and 100 mile per hour winds pummeling that Louisiana coast. The cone of uncertainty still stretches out toward Florida and back toward almost the Texas line. So we'll still have to wait until that storm makes that northward turn to see exactly where it will end up. But regardless, it does look like the current track will keep us dry for a couple of days. Wednesday, Thursday, even most of Friday look dry outside of a few stray showers. But Saturday is when the soaking rain starts to take over the Carolinas. The remnant low pressure is likely to make its way just to our west. East Tennessee could see it. But that means we will be in line for one to two inches of rainfall throughout Saturday and possibly into Sunday morning. Sunday evening looks to dry out for the most part, so you might be able to salvage part of the weekend. But Saturday does look like quite a soaker today, though. Nice and sunny 77 degrees tomorrow, 82 with sun, 83 with sun and clouds on Thursday. The mountains will end up in the upper 70s through this time Friday, Saturday and even into Sunday. The temperatures stay quite a bit cooler as all the rain settles in.